Let's see, jittery servo part four. So I've uh, taken the servo out of the stampede. Um, it is a little bit dirty as you can see. So all I'm going to do right now is give it a little bit of a scrub over with a trusty used toothbrush. And yes, this is used and no, that's not from my teeth, thankfully. And just clean off the dirt. You'll note that I am not going to use any WD-40 on this because the idea is I want to just clean off the dirt. I don't want to soak anything. Uh, especially if this thing has died because of waterproofing failure or something. And again, I do not know what the scenario or situation is that has caused it. Grab myself a nice little piece of cloth that I use all the time. Uh, just snippets of old clothes so I can do cleaning. Very helpful when I'm doing differentials and such. But and we have this now set there. And once again we will go get our in the bag receiver. Maybe there's a load that I don't know about. We'll put this receiver Throw this into steering channel, put this into power, and now I can feel this thing shifting back and forth right now. I do not feel, I can feel the vibration in here. So in the middle part down lower in where the gearing is. But I do not feel anything at all up in the final drive. So I'm thinking that maybe it's just the gears are, well, chattering. Um... Um, once again, I'm going to send this off to Traxxas and let them try and tell me what I should do with this thing. Um, uh, hopefully the next step is uh, I take it apart and we'll find out. So This is an interesting multi-day event. Anyways, there's that part done.